Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. So today I'm finally going to talk about this Road King that everybody keeps asking me about. It's one of the only older bikes that we get to work on. Um, I catch a lot of heat because people think that I don't show love to the older bikes. I only post newer bikes. It's not that. We're literally the most expensive shop in the area. So obviously we get the most expensive vehicles and newer vehicles. When we're getting 10, 15 grand to do a build, it's really hard for somebody to have a bike that's not new to be able to justify spending that kind of money on an older bike. Except when it comes to a bike like this. This bike is pretty. There is a ton of money on paint work on this bike. He's got all kinds of conversions and motor upgrades. This is one of my favorite bikes to look at out of all the bikes we, out of the thousand bikes we've built over the years. Definitely one of my favorite bikes to look at. It's pretty, but it's definitely one of my least favorite bikes to work on. I hate working on Road Kings because there's no fairing. There's nowhere to hide the amplifiers. Everything has to go in the bag. If you have to do a minor service, everything has to come apart. There is nothing that is quick and easy on these bikes. Road Kings are really nice bikes, but when it comes to doing audio, they suck. This one's got a really big audio setup in it. Well, big for a Road King. It's got some awesome paint work. This bike's flawless. It's got air ride. So this bike has lithium battery under the seat, has four Bema six nav sealed backs, has a 1200.4, a 400.4, and a 1600.1 sound digital. It's running two Neo 10 inch mid base drivers. They're getting 800 watts a piece. The bags are ported, fiberglass reinforced. The 1204 is running the four six and a half Bama sealed backs. The four ohm, so it's bridged with two six and a halfs on each channel since they are. 8 ohms a piece. The 1601 is a 4 ohm with two 8 ohm drivers in parallel, so they get 800 watts each. And then we're running six 25 millimeter horn tweeters off the 400.4. It's running a DSR1 DSP, which we modified the controller. And the volume master control knob is molded into the front of the bag on this side. So there's the volume control for the DSR-1. Okay, so as you can see, we took apart the DSR-1, unsoldered the knob from the board, and extended the cables. The guts of the DSR-1 control knob are down there. DSR-1 DSP, DS-18 Bluetooth receiver goes into the auxiliary of the DSP. There's our Bama sealed backs. And horn tweeter hidden other the tether. We have one horn there, another horn underneath. And there's the mono block. And there you can see the port for the bag. The rings have been reinforced with Lexan to give them strength. Here on the other side, we have the 1600.1, the other horn drivers, same lid speakers, and we have the 400.4 over here. This is the loudest Road King we've built so far.